The Nowhere Man by Kamala Mark and Dyer, published by Hope Road Publishing, set mainly in the later 1960s in South London, leafy South London indeed, um, with flashbacks to India post World War I. The Nowhere Man was perhaps the author's most favoured novel of all her work. Nectar in a Sieve, her debut novel, was published to much acclaim, but somehow The Nowhere Man fell by the wayside. This is the story of Srinivas, who arrives from India in South London and makes his home. He awaits the arrival of his wife, Vasantha, and together they buy a large property, number five, and it is there that they have two children, two young sons. Srinivas is a peaceful man, and he takes everything that goes on around him in his stride. He is quite sanguine. But life is not altogether easy. There is death along the way, and Laxman, one of his sons, moves away to live on the south coast with his new wife. He is a little bit ashamed of the home that Srinivas and Vasantha have created, and he begins to look down on his father. Some chapters are set in the early 20th century in India, so we have a sense of where Srinivas has come from and what it was like for him to live under British rule. It was, to some extent, quite toxic, and I think this was actually a favoured theme of the author, to bring to her readership, you know, more of the reality of what really went on in India under British rule. Back in South London, a Mrs Pickering moves in with Srinivas, who is newly widowed, and it is their relationship of just living, coexisting together that has the locals chatting away, but actually it suits them, the two of them, really well. Life in South London has been pretty harmonious, but gradually there is an undertow of racism making itself felt. And of course, this is stoked by Enoch Powell's Rivers of Blood speech, which happened in 1968, and things noticeably begin to change. It is now 2019 and this novel has been republished and somehow it has a very prescient theme for what is going on in English politics and society of today. So, Kamala Mark and Dyer's novel, The Nowhere Man, is a very thoughtful novel, quite meditative in some ways, and I think is a good recommendation. Put it on your to-be-read pile.